whilst I was out in Romania um, on this kind of mission that I found myself on, um, a self kind of initiated mission, I was uh, speaking with my translator on a constant basis on all of our car rides. And, um, and he just turned around to me one day and he said, and this was probably on the maybe third or fourth trip. And he said, <clears throat> everything that you're describing, that you're feeling really reminds me of this tale youth without age and life without death. The tale is around the idea that there's a prince and he's promised that he will live forever. And when he's 18, he discovers that his father was lying to him and he won't live forever. And so he embarks on a journey, a quest to find this land where time does stand still. Um, so he has this kind of stubborn belief that, that actually it does exist and he does find it. He encounters beasts and obstacles along his journey, but he finds it. When he's there, he's very happy, but he then wanders one day into the forest of lament. And within this forest, he begins to obviously miss his life before and all the things and all the people that were in his life previously. So he decides to return, he's warned not to, and he returns back to his loved ones who have all perished and then he dies. And the idea is that time is not something that you should chase in terms of having an infinite amount. It's actually about who you spend it with and how you spend it, um, which is a lovely moral. And, and for me, that's very true in the sense of, I can be quite stoic and um, I really do believe that something that helps me is to be present and to, um, instead of have a fear of the future or a lament of the past to appreciate the present. Um, so that's what I've taken from the tale and it's inspired me.